I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and here's my mom, Ingrid Turner. Yes, hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, today we're going to show you a really special recipe. Although we're making it for Easter, you can make it anytime. This is going to be a lemon jelly roll. And I know we're saying it's lemon, but it's only lemon because we made a lemon filling. Yes. Now our lemon filling, let's prelude this, is a lemon curd. We just made it. This is the show. Make sure you check out how to make lemon curd, how to cook lemon curd. Okay, that's it. It's delicious. It's intense. It's lemony. It's perfect for oh, Easter. It's very, very intense. But feel free to use whatever you like in there. Preserves, yeah. jam, jelly, whatever. Or okay? even just regular pie filling. Yes, pie filling. Um, this uh, actually, once it's rolled up, it uh, can be frozen and it freezes well. Wow. And you can just slice it up for Easter if you want to make it ahead of time. That's awesome, Mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so let's check out how to make the jelly roll. This is a very versatile recipe. Right. Okay. This is three quarters of a cup plus two tablespoons of sifted cake and pastry flour. Okay. All cake and pastry flour. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is three quarters of a cup of sugar. Okay. White granulated. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. Right. Um, I have uh, one teaspoon of baking powder. Powder. Mm -hmm. Now you're using a mixer. Do they have to use a mixer? No, you you can use a, a hand mixer if you so desire. Okay. I'm just going to give this a little um, whiz around just to mix the dry ingredients together. On low, of course. Mm -hmm. On low. <laughs> okay. In addition to the um, baking powder, I put in a dash of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Perfect. Now, if you're interested in getting one of these bad boys, make sure you check out our shop at shop.cookingwithkimberly.com. There's two really great KitchenAid models that we really like. Now, we're going to beat in there five egg yolks. Five. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting, Mom, how mm -hmm. the eggs go in with the, with the flour. It mm -hmm. almost looks like how you would mix shortening or butter in flour for... Um, yes. For pastry. That's right. what it looks like. It right. looks like little peas. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. So, um, uh, this is mixed now. Let I'm me show to, this to them because yeah. it's really interesting. Yeah. Take this off. So I have to wash this because this has to be totally clean when I mix the egg white. Okay, so mom's using two stainless steel mixing bowls today. One, they have to be separate. One has to be completely clean of anything because you're going to be mixing up egg whites and fluffing them up. And if you have any kind of residues of oil or anything in there, it's just not going to whip out for you. You're going to be mad. Okay, so this is what this looks like. It looks like the crumbs for, for a pastry. Yeah, lovely. Or a or really cool. Really cool. Okay. Okay. So, mom is has this separate. Take it off. Use the other bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna put it over here. Okay. And into this bowl go uh, the five egg whites. Okay. Now you washed your whisk even because you don't want any residue on there. Right. Okay. Now the egg whites are there. Do you have cream of tartar on in a there? A little bit. Okay. Yes. Like what? A Just, quarter teaspoon? Yeah. Half a teaspoon? Yeah. Okay. Cream of tartar helps stabilize the egg whites when you fluff them to keep them fluffed and together and not oozing and dripping liquid, right? Yeah. And we're going to whip this until the peaks are soft, not dry, just soft. And it'll take a little while. Yep. When you whip, you're going to whip on high, high speed. Okay, your eggs look like they're probably about halfway yes. whipped. Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm looking mm -hmm. at? Nice yes, and sir. frothy, but very, very wet. Yeah. And liquidy. So mom's gonna add, what is this, a third of a cup? Third of a cup of third sugar. Third of a cup of sugar, and she's gonna finish whipping it up. You wanna wait to add the sugar because sugar's heavy. Yes, and right. it needs to still be wet enough that it dissolves the exactly. sugar. Exactly. Because you don't want grainy stuff. In That's here. what I was gonna say next. So you wanna wait until it's still moist, not all the way whipped up, but you wanna wait until as far down the road as you can to add it so it doesn't just weigh everything down. And we're only going to whip this until we get soft peaks. Okay. Let's and do this it. This will be actually the moisture to add to the dry ingredients. Mm. In the meantime, while you're whipping up, get yourself a cookie sheet, a baking tray, whatever kind of tray you want to use for your jelly roll. This is a, a standard cookie sheet. And mom, has it, 15. and mom has it lined with parchment. You, That's what you want to do. <laughs> Line it with parchment. Don't just spray it. 
line it, okay? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, okay, uh, we beat the egg whites. They're uh, still glossy, they're a little wet, and um, they will hold a peak, but it'll fall over, and that's exactly what you want. May I show it to them? Yes. Let's do that. I'm just gonna put it down for you, and I'll take this out. I'm guessing you're gonna fold that into the rest of it. We are? Okay. I want this with it, so I can show them. Okay, so here's your peaks. See that, how it's falling over? It kind of holds it, but it kind of doesn't. Oh, you couldn't see it. See how I mean? It's very wet, it still holds the peak, but it's nice and glossy and shiny, okay? That's what we've got going on. Okay, so. Can I lick the beater? Of course. Mm -hmm. We're going to mix one third of the egg whites into, we're gonna fold them into the um, dry ingredients. Okay, so we're going to mix one third, you said? Mm -hmm. One third of the um, whipped whites into this crummy mixture. <laughs> crummy. <laughs> crummy. It's crummy. Not cremini. Crummy. I think that's about one third. Give it a nice stir. Just fold it though, not mixing. We're just folding it in there. So you're going to have crumbs it's with the egg whites. Kind of, this is kind of like you mix an angel cake. It's beautiful. Nice and light. I wasn't expecting this kind of batter, to be honest with you. Well, I haven't made this for a while, and to tell you the truth, I'd almost forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> I made it way back when Aunt Vera and I used to bake together. Nice. That's quite a while ago. It's a while. Yes. Now, into the batter, you could even Can put you, some. Um, empty that for me. I find it hard to hold this. I'll hold it, and you. How about empty I just it. do it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could add. Um, lemon zest to the batter as well. You could. Right? And mm -hmm. that would be a nice addition. A third at a time? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is all you're doing. You're just folding it in. You don't want to collapse those bubbles. You just want to combine it just barely. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't over mix because if you do, you're going to lose all of your what you've just worked on. You're going to lose all of that air, which is the whole point. You don't want a flat jelly roll. You want a nice fluffy one, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. And we have one more third to put in. Mm -hmm. Last third. Don't miss any of this, because this is the whole point. This is going to be a really uh, light uh, and airy um, jelly roll. Very nice. I'm loving this, Molly. Much like an angel cake, mm. but it's not an angel cake recipe at Except all. Except it's got these crumbs in. It's tripping mm -hmm. me out. Mm -hmm. It's nice. But see, that butter in there is going to melt. And There's stuff. no butter. There's no butter. Right. In Does place that of the like butter? butter? Yeah, in place of the butter, we have egg yolk. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. I like this recipe. I guess that would make it a lot lower in, in calories and fat, too. I don't know. There you go. There's plenty of sugar, but... <laughs> okay, so this is done mixing. I can't wait to lick the beater and uh, spatula. <laughs> I have a taste awesome. of the batter. It's so delicious. <laughs> okay, so don't forget, you've lined this with parchment so it won't stick. Now I'm just going to kind of spread it, sort of. Dump it all in here, and we're going to spread it out as evenly as we can, right? Mm -hmm. Don't waste any of it. Do you have a special spatula you're going to use? Well, I was going to try this. I'm not sure what we're going to end up using. We have a couple of uh, options. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to use that? Okay. Yeah, for now, we'll just spread it out a little bit. Get this a little puff up because uh, there are all those egg yolks and egg whites in there, so it should puff up nicely. And um, I didn't spray the parchment with uh, cooking spray because um, they're so fu this is such a fussy recipe as far as um, greasing up the um, whites. Right. So I I didn't do it. Well, parchment's the perfect thing. Yeah. Perfect solution. Now, so, Mom, you just cut the parchment accordingly um, to fit your tray. Mm -hmm. I did. I measured it quite specifically. <laughs> so you can, you want to kind of have to have that. You can spread the. Yeah, I'm gonna have this. Oh yeah, Mom's good using. Now this is a tool that I actually got at my hardware store, <laughs> and it's for spackling drywall. But for floating. There, yeah, for floating the, the drywall compound. 
But don't forget, there's tons of things at your hardware store that you can use for your kitchen, your cooking. Absolutely. Obviously, you don't use this for your drywall compound too. No. Only for cooking. <laughs> you only have a cooking spatula, okay? But this is a very nice one because it's just cheap. I mean, it costs probably less than a dollar. It's wide enough and flat enough that it spreads things nicely. I think it's easier to use. Yeah. Make sure that you get the stuff from the middle to the sides so that when you roll this thing up later, the middle isn't all fat mm -hmm. and the sides all uh, Well, flat. when cakes tend to bake anyway, the middles tend to rise just a little bit yeah. more than the edges anyway. Exactly. So if you can get just a little bit more kind of on the edges, you're probably better off. This is delicious, by the way. I know. I had a little taste of it. I could eat it just like that. Mm. <laughs> it would be really nice with lemon zest in it. I'm almost looking for it because I know we're putting lemon in here. That yeah. lemon curd. Yeah. That lemon curd is so good. You really have to make I that. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to excuse me. <laughs> mm. It's so good. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Mom did a beautiful job. It's uh, very thick, actually. Very thick mm -hmm. um, batter. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so gay. Good, tasty. Mm -mm -mm. And this is going in the oven for uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Right. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Convection? Yeah. I like to use the convection for cakes because I feel they they puff up better. They rise much better yeah. if you use the convection. Yeah. Okay. Well, as soon as our oven comes up to 375, which will be like in two minutes, um, we're going to put this in here. And how long does it go for? 10 to 15. 10 to 15 minutes. So we're going to check it at 10. Mm -hmm. Set your timer for 10 minutes. Don't not set the timer because you oh. will definitely have more of a likelihood that you'll forget it's in there. Well, you don't want to go to all this work and then mess it up because you didn't set the timer. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to set this to the side and you'll see us after 10 minutes of baking. Into the oven it goes with 10 minutes on the timer. Ready? Yeah. All right, we'll check it in 10 minutes. Okay, okay, we've been going about 12 minutes now. 13. 13 minutes, mom put it on for another couple minutes to make sure that it was browned up the way she wanted it to be. Ooh, that's lovely. It's nice and golden, golden brown. Now, it needs to sit and cool completely. Yes. yes. You can't mess with it until it's cool. Leave the parchment, leave everything. Don't okay? try to peel anything off yet. Don't mess with it at all. Wait until it kind of relaxes and eases up. It's gonna let go from that parchment nicely. Yes. And then you're gonna be able to maneuver it the way you want to. Right. You definitely don't want this thing to break on you. And if you do it now, it's just gonna kind of fall apart into a million pieces and you're gonna be so mad. So just chill out. It looks beautiful. And you're right, it looks like um, an angel cake, sort of. Mm -hmm. It feels like it even. Smells a little bit like. Mm. It. Anyway, so we're gonna wait. We're gonna sit here and watch it. <laughs> so we're both. How just long kidding. This will take. Thirty minutes. Thirty, forty, right there. About thirty, forty minutes. Just make sure it's completely cool to touch. Okay. Right. The cake is cooled, and now we're getting ready to assemble this thing. Now what, Mom? First of all, we have to uh, get it out of the pan and turn it over onto this piece of tin foil, which we're going to cover with. Confection or sugar. Okay. However much you need. Yes, however much we need. I think this is about uh, three quarters. I was going to say it looks like three quarters. And you're also sifting it to make sure there's no chunks? Yeah. Because that part that will be touching the icing sugar will actually be the outside of the, um, of the jelly okay, roll. Okay, so now it's all covered. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to take that in. And okay. we're going to pick it up like this, like a blanket, and mm -hmm. we're going to turn it over. Okay, wait. <laughs> we're going to turn it over. Wait, you already separated the sides for yes, them, I right? Yes, I did. Okay, I so you used the knife. She just pulled it apart by hand. She didn't even need the knife, okay? Mm -hmm. And it came off because it was cool and you were using parchment. All right. Okay, so this now, is going to be interesting. I'm going to go like this. Okay, we're just going to turn it right over like Whoa. that. Okay, let go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. And now we're going to, you're going to peel, I'm going to let you peel. I'm just going to pull it back very slowly and ever so gently. That's a lovely job. That parchment works wonders. You can also find parchment. If you can't find parchment at your grocer, you can go to our shop online. Cool. It helps if you have two people. 
Yeah. <laughs> can you hold it with both hands? So I can hold it yeah. Now, we're going to put the lemon curd on. Okay. We need a, a spatula. This okay. is the lemon curd that we made. And that's going to go on here. I'm just going to spread it on nicely. And what's great is you'll get a couple of layers of it as it rolls. Yes. Just split it evenly. Uh, it looks like you have, what, two cups or so? Uh, I believe there's about a uh, two and a quarter cups here. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to keep it about a quarter of an inch away from the edge, from the outside edge. Otherwise it oozes out everywhere. Just so it doesn't seep out too far. Make sure you can cover the whole base of it and then add your extra on top. Mm -hmm. Just like you do when you're icing something. That's good. So you didn't even need all of what we have. And that's yeah. really intense flavor, so it's really going to carry through. Turn the cake. first right. turn is going to be about an inch and a half. You're going to roll it up like sushi. We're going to roll it up. And eventually, I'll show you what we're going to do. So then you just continuously roll it on top of itself as tightly as possible-ish. And use the wrap to help you. As you roll it, and it's already rolled over, then you release that wrap and restart it. You don't want it to roll inside of the jelly roll. <laughs> use the, the wrap, the foil, to help you. As you get it going, it rolls easier and easier. Mm -hmm. It's that first couple rolls. This is the hardest. Now you wouldn't want to use parchment for something like this because it wouldn't stick properly. And yeah, we got some on here, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll use that. I'm going to cut this now. Where? Right here. Okay, so there we have it. We have it rolled up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to uh, fold this part over that doesn't have the um, extra stuff on it. We might have to put an extra uh, piece of tin foil because we want it to stay rolled up for a little while. Okay. Or well, you want to get rid of this? So we're going to leave it sitting here for about 10 minutes and then we'll unwrap it roll it into a uh, um, another piece of tin foil and um, sugar coat the outside. Okay. But from the end you can see how beautifully <laughs> it rolled. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how well that's done. Well done mom. It's like <laughs> a burrito. Yeah. A lemon burrito. So we're just gonna let the the cake rest that way for a little while so it's used to being uh, bent. And then we'll unroll it and we'll put some more sugar on the outside. And show and you what it's like. Yeah, like. We'll, we'll cut a little piece of it and the rest we're going to uh, roll up and put it in the freezer for uh, Easter. Easter time. Yes. So be right back. <laughs> okay, so it's been sitting for 10 minutes. Yes. Now, now we're going to take this uh, tin foil off. Okay. It's a little bit messy. Look at how it's stuck together so nice. Look yeah. how cylindrical it is, Mom. It is. It, it did really, such a perfect job. Um, Let's just roll it over there. Yeah. yeah. Roll it to your next sheet. We have mm -hmm. that lined with um, more more icing, icing sugar. sugar again. I guess you probably want some of that back. Mm -hmm. Once it's rolled up, it's quite flexible um, as far as uh, being able to roll it and move it around. Very I just nice. want the icing sugar to really adhere to the ends and everything. You can always so. sprinkle it with more if you want yeah. to upon um, serving mm -hmm. on a platter or something like that. Right that now, nature. we're going to cut ourselves a piece of this awesome. beautiful thing. I'm not mad at that. Let's do this. Let me wash my hands. Okay. It is beautiful. Look at how it awesome. Look how straight you've got it. <laughs> it looks like a tube. Well, that's uh, by rolling it with the tin foil. You can really get a nice first round. That's the crucial one to get it. Let's do the hunters. Beautiful. 
beautiful mom. Look at this. Look at that. Now you can sprinkle that with more sugar, but really, do you need to? I mean, right. look how beautiful that or is right there. if you have lemon curd left, you could mm -hmm. drizzle some of that on top. Oh, wait, which we do, or don't we? <laughs> We're doing it's over there. You want me to just dollop it in the yeah, middle, or sure. what? A little bit in the middle. Mm -hmm. You could you could um, garnish it with a mint sprig if you wanted to. Yes. Beautiful. Then now you could sprinkle the sugar if you wanted to. Whatever. Do whatever. I don't need it. You could make a little decoration with the sugar or whatever. Mm. Mommy, mm. look at this. <sighs> really? <laughs> okay. Mm. I haven't seen you make one of these since I was little. I know. Mm. The mm. texture is really cool. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Very lemony. Mm hmm. And a nice alternative to making another lemon meringue pie that you've mm -hmm. already done for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm hmm. And, you know? It's okay. lemony and fresh and bright and springy and cool. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not mad at that. Mmm. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna make its way to the freezer. Mm. I was mm -hmm. gonna say, how are we gonna pack it up? Oh, we're gonna roll it back up. In, in the foil? Mm hmm. And that's how you're gonna store it? Mm hmm. You might wanna slice one more of those. Okay. <laughs> Before you roll it up. You can really taste that. Um, or not taste it, but you can really feel that texture of the difference between those little egg peas looking things mm -hmm. and the uh, fluffy egg whites. Right. You has a really nice contrast of texture. Hmm? Mm hmm Mom, I'm not mad. <laughs> I love lemon. Me too. Mm. So, a nice change. Mm hmm something for Easter, mm -hmm. you might think about. Okay, so it's no big deal. You're just gonna wrap it up and that's it and put it in a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. Resealable bag, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I might put an elastic on each end. Oh, really? Keep, it, keep the wrapped up. Hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. well that's how you do it. That's how you make a lemon jelly roll. Uh, feel free to use the jelly roll uh, recipe for making other flavors, right? Mm -hmm. And make sure if you um, wanna do the lemon, make sure you go check out that lemon curd recipe. And uh, you can also serve that lemon curd just by itself as a pudding. Right? No biggie. All right? So that's it. That's all. Make sure you check out Mom's website at IngridTurnerToday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is Cooking with Kimberly.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye.